girl you see this this is all with shop miss a makeup this is a one dollar makeup that you can purchase online one dollar makeup some of their products are 155 and the rest of them are affordable makeup look at this you cannot tell that this is one dollar makeup this is looking like it's a high-end makeup look okay if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe click that notification bell that way you're aware when i upload and you won't miss any future content i do upload weekly but let's go ahead and get pretty together. It's time to show you what Shop Miss A is all about. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a full face of Shop Miss A makeup. So yeah, let's go ahead, test out this Shop Miss A makeup and see what it's all about. Let's see what the hits and misses are. All right, so first things first, I do have the AOA Studio Shadow Saver Eye Primer. This one is in the shade Tan. So that's what that looks like here. It is kind of runny a little bit, but we'll go ahead and blend it in. So it is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but we're gonna go ahead and blend it in and see how it does. Okay, so it is kind of watery, but the overall, it seems to dry pretty quickly. Like my eyelid is already dry, so. So the next thing that we have is two eyeshadow palettes. I did purchase two of them. I did not realize how similar they look, um, but overall it's more of a neutral palette. So I figured today would be the best day. Just go ahead and try and create an early fall look with these palettes here. So they're really cute. Um, this one is a little bit of a mix of mattes and shimmers. And then this one is the same thing. So this one is Shut Sugar, Shut Sugar eye palette and this one is Ochado. Ochado or Ocado. I probably am butchering these names but that's the name of the eyeshadow palettes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix into both of these here and apply my transition color. The Ochado palette I am just going to take this light transition color here and just apply it to my eyelids. So the transition color is almost my skin tone. So I may dip into the next color, which is a brown, and just apply that on my crease. So, so far, I really do like the palette. It is a very pretty color. So I do like the color on my eyelid here. Okay, so now that that's on there, I think I'm gonna go in with an orange and apply that all over my crease as well. And I forgot to mention, I did purchase their brushes. Um, so they have a really cute brush set. I think this was like five or six dollars, but I figured I may as well go ahead and purchase these as well. And of course it is in pink. So I'm gonna use these here real quick. Okay, so yeah, there we go. That orange, that's more pigmented. That's more of what I like here. Cause I'm gonna go for like a fall look and I wanted some colors to start showing because the brown and the transition color just blended right on in with my skin tone. So I'm gonna really build this up here. And I really like this brush. This brush is very, it's good quality. So yeah, I do recommend the brushes as well. All right, so I'm just gonna dip into the next palette and I'm just going to take that transition color as well and just Mix it on the outer crease here. And I must say the shadows are very pigmented. So they have, they're good quality as well. Nice, very nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the same brush here. I'm gonna go back into that dark brown color and I'm gonna apply that to the edge of my crease as well. Okay, so the Ochado palette, that brown color, Again, this one's just blending in with my skin. So I'm gonna take the next um, palette here, the Shut Sugar palette, and I'm gonna take this brown. This brown is darker than the other one. So I'm gonna try this one here and see. I know in some palettes, the browns can be almost as dark as the blacks. So I'm just gonna really build this up at the edge of my crease here. Okay, I'm just gonna apply it all over the lid. I'm really trying to, I'm like really dipping hard into this to try and get some pigment on here. Like I said, it's both of the browns are like my skin tone. So I'm really going ham with it. I'm trying to build the color up. 
So I'm just gonna apply it all over the lid. But it is one thing that I can say, you're really gonna have to press into some of the colors just to get, you know, for the color to show, so. But overall, it's still pretty. I really do like it. All right, so I'm just gonna take me a fluffy brush, blend out the edges here so it doesn't look too harsh. And then I'm just gonna mix into both of the palettes into like the bronzy color shimmers. Just mix them together and apply it in the front of my crease. So I'm just going to dip and spray. Okay, and so I'm gonna be spraying my brush with their setting spray. This is supposed to be a non-drying, matte finish, lightweight setting spray. So I'm just gonna use this and spray my brush and then I'm gonna apply my shimmer. Pretty good, mister. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I do like the color that's coming through. Again, I just mixed both of those bronze shades and this is what it's creating. I really do like the color. Now, I must say that the setting spray, it does feel kind of sticky just for me applying that on my eyelid with a shimmer. So it does feel kind of sticky. So I am kind of waiting to see what it's gonna be like whenever I spray it on my face after I apply my makeup. I don't know about you guys, but it always seems like one eye is better than the other when you apply shimmers or even eyeshadow. I don't know what it is. So I'm just packing this in here. I really like that gold, like that bronzy gold finish. I really like that, that's really pretty. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to do some wing liner. I did purchase two eyeliners. Um, this one is a liquid eyeliner here, or a pencil eyeliner, liquid form. And then I have the regular pencil eyeliner that's in black. So this one here, the one I'm gonna be using for my wings, this one is the AOA Studio Liquid Eyeliner in the shade black. And I really like the packaging because the packaging is like multicolored. I really like that, so. And then this one here, this one is just the auto eyeliner and that's in black. So this is the pencil eyeliner and I'll be using this later on my waterline. So this is the wand here and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw my wing. Very, very pigmented. Okay, so I really like it. I'm wondering if it's gonna dry down to a matte finish, but so far so good, I really like this. So whenever I have like a jagged edge on my eyeliner, my wing liner, then I just take like a makeup wipe or a baby wipe and just clean it up a little bit here. Okay, not perfect, but pretty good in my opinion. So I am gonna go ahead and apply my mascara before we do lashes. And I am using the AOA Studio Tall Lash Mascara. This one is supposed to be the Lengthening Precision Wand, and this is in black. Okay, so this is the wand here. It's very small, very small fibers. It almost looks like a comb on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and see if it's lengthening as it says it is. Okay, so yes, it is lengthening. It's a very wet formula, I can say that. Very wet formula. It's actually running underneath my eye. So underneath the lid, or the top lid. But yes, it is very lengthening. So it does leave my lashes kind of chunky a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's just due to the, you know, the comb on the wand, I'm not for sure, but it does look like it separates them a little bit, but it makes my lashes kind of thicker. So we'll see how it dries down. I like to have my lashes separated, like little separated, not chunky separated. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes. For lashes today, I do have the natural lightweight lashes. These are in Alexis. So I do have a six pair here. These are natural lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on and I'm loving this. I love that it said it's natural, but I feel it's more of kind of dramatic. But yeah, I really like these lashes. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and prime the skin. So I do have the Filter Face Primer 
It says it minimizes pores and this is the AOA Studio as well. Okay, it says it is supposed to extend the makeup wear. It's silky, it's lightweight. It creates a smooth, even skin base. And we're going to see if it does just that. Oh, it's very liquidy, even though it's white. Like I prefer white primers like this. Um, we'll see if it fills in the pores and do what it's supposed to do. Just gonna dab that in here, see what happens. Me for pore filling primers, I like to just tap in the product. I notice that my pores feel better that way. They fill in better that way. Tapping in the product. I think I may have used just a little bit too much, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. It's very liquidy. Um, you see that? It's so shiny on my face. So I think I've used too much. So I think I'm going to wipe some of this off because I have applied too, or actually, no, I'm not going to wipe it off. I'm just going to rub it in because this is not like regular pore filling primers. Um, this seems more kind of like sticky. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna try and work the product in anyway. It's leaving my face oily, kinda. I don't know how I feel about this primer, guys. I don't know how I feel. It feels like a moisturizer. That's what it is. It feels like it's a moisturizer and I don't see any pore filling at all on this primer. So we're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna go with the flow. All right, now that all that is rubbed in on my face, let me go ahead and go for the foundation. So I'm excited to try this out because I do feel that I did pick out a pretty good match. That's what it looks like here. This is the A2O Lab Soft Matte Foundation and I am in the shade T3. Uh, this was $4. So. so this one is supposed to be a flawlessly filtered skin foundation. So I can't wait to see if it owns up to what it claims to be. It's supposed to be a lightweight, breathable foundation that smooths the skin. Soft matte finish, sensory friendly for all skin types. So we're about to put this to the test and see if it does what it says it is. I do like the packaging. It is cute. I like that yellow. Oh, and it comes with a pump. So that makes it even better. It comes with a pump. So I'm just going to put two pumps on the back of my hand and apply it on my skin. I always say on my skin, of course it's on my skin. I'm going to apply it on my face. Okay, so this is the color right here. I think I did really well on the shade match. And this is supposed to be their Kabuki brush. I'm gonna use this to apply the foundation to my face. So I'm just dipping into the foundation on the back of my hand. And I feel that I may have to apply it more because it looks like it absorbed some of that product there. We're gonna go ahead and try it out. Okay, so it looks like it may be a little dark. That's okay. I don't know if I really like this brush for the foundation. I may end up switching brushes, but we'll see. Okay. So I don't know if it is the primer that's underneath my you know that I just put on but the foundation feels sticky with it as well sometimes that does happen so and then sometimes you have to switch out the primers you know for the foundation in order for it to work so we're going to go ahead and continue with the video I'm going to trust the process the brush is shedding all right so I'm just going to take a couple more pumps on the back of my hand but I do like it, it is a very creamy texture all right, so let's blend the next side and see what happens here. I mean, me looking in the mirror, it looks a little darker, but then on camera, it may show that it looks perfect. But this is definitely my summer shade. Guys, my face feels so oily. Do you see this? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's darker. It's darker than my ears. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me do the forehead. 
I hope this is not a fail. I hope these setting powder comes through. So the foundation is blended in. Actually, I'm looking at it now and it does look like it matches my body, but I will say that my face feels like really sticky. I don't know if you can see that shininess on my face, but it feels really, really sticky. So I'm dying to put the concealer on and just set down this face. I do not like that sticky feeling. Um, so let me just go ahead and apply the concealer here. I did purchase two shades of the concealer. Um, one of those is soft tan and the other one is amber. I went ahead and purchased two shades because it looked like I was gonna be in between and I'm glad that I did you know, purchase two shades. This one is in the shade soft tan, so it's a little bit lighter. And then this is the shade amber. This one is a little bit darker as you can tell. I think I'm just gonna take both of these shades here and just apply them under my under eye. So this is soft tan first creamy and thick. And then we're going to take amber. I'm just going to go on top of that. Amber seems like it's kind of light itself. So I'm really going in with that one because it's the darker shade, but we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna let this sit on here for a few minutes and then we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer. And I'm actually gonna use a concealer brush today and see how that does. Okay, so I feel like there's a medium coverage maybe, if that, just medium. But I figured, I thought amber was going to be more in my skin tone, but I guess not. But it's okay. We're going to work with it, see how it plays out. And then I did get some cream contour. So hopefully this will work. This is the Venetian Romance Creamy Bronzer. Mine is in the shade Canal. And this is the color of it here. So we're going to try this out today and see how this does. All right, so I'm just gonna take my brush, dip into it here and apply it. Okay, ooh, less is more, you see that? Um, so yeah, less is more. I'm gonna try and blend this out. Hopefully it doesn't dry down quickly. Wow. I hope this video is not a fail. If I have to, what I'm gonna do is uh, take my foundation brush and just blend that out a little bit if it doesn't calm down. But actually, it looks kind of good. I actually like that. You see that? It's blending in now perfectly. It's just very pigmented. So less is more on the bronzer for sure. Now my face looks more sculpted. So I'm just gonna dip it one time and go down my jawline here. I don't know about my under eyes, guys. I don't like how bright they look, but hopefully that setting powder will work. We'll get it though. All right, so I'm getting ready to do the next side here. Yeah, I really like the finish of it, but boy, that first impression, I was like, oh my goodness. All right, so now that we're looking like a bronze goddess, man, I look like I just went to the beach or something, no joke. All right, so I do have a cream blush as well. This one is in the shade, yeah. So this one is in the shade Color Flush. So yeah, this was $1. All right, so this was kind of like, it's like a deep red. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Let's see what this does. All right, y'all. Oh, wait, I don't think I need any more than that. I'm not even playing. All right, let me give me a brush. Let's blend this out. So I'm just taking me a little brush here. I'm gonna blend this out. Okay, so it's kind of a deep red. It's almost like one of those, you know, crown in your crown box, that red color, that brick red color. That's what I would say this is like. 
Very, very pretty on the skin. Very pigmented as well. I'm glad I only went in with one dot. I'm so glad I only went in with one dot. Okay. Let me do the next side. I just can't believe how pigmented this is. But it's very pretty. Once you blend it in, it's very, very pretty. Looks like you've just been blushing a little bit. I like it. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the setting powder and this is the AOA Studio Flawless Setting and Finishing Powder. Um, they have like four different shades. This is it right here. So they have like a deep orange and then they have like um, yellow on there as well. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna try this out and see if I can get this face to kind of tone it down a little bit. See if I can take that shine away. So this is the quad here. Oh my goodness. Less is more. I just tapped that in there and like a whole bunch of it came out on the lid. See that? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna take me a little brush here. All right, I'm just gonna take me a little angled brush here and I'm just gonna dip into it. Looks like it's smoking. Tap off the excess and apply it to my face. Okay, I don't know, but it looks like my face is coming off a little bit orange in here. So I'm not really a fan of this setting powder. It could be the lighting, but you can definitely tell a difference from this side to this side. I feel like I'm pulling off orange over here. I'm gonna go ahead and set the remainder of my face and see what happens. Now I'm kind of nervous. I don't wanna look like a Oompa Loompa on here with this first impressions. Okay, I really like how it sets down. Of course, I like matte finish anyway. I really like how it's setting down. I'm just gonna continue trusting the process and that my face is not orange. But yeah, look, you can tell a total difference from my forehead to my face. So I'm loving the finishing look. I'm getting powder all over my shirt, but look at that, watch. So I'm liking how it's looking. I just feel like I'm pulling off orange on camera. That's the only thing I don't like, but the face is set down now. But I hope that when I set my face with that setting spray that it doesn't get sticky again. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna use the bronzer. Yeah, I look orange on camera. Oh. Okay, okay, so this is the AOA Studio Bronzer. And this one is a matte bronzer and this one is in the shade Latte. So I'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks. It looks kind of light, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Yeah, this looks just like my skin tone. Oh man, I hope this is not a fail. Okay, so this is the bronzer. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with blush. This one is the Mineral Quad Blush. I think this is very cute because it has like, oh, it came with a little brush too, but it has um, pink in there and it has like a bronzer shade as well. So we're gonna use this for my blush. So I'm just gonna take my blush brush and just dip into all the shades here. So I'm just gonna dip into all of them. Okay, this is very pigmented. I really like the color, you see that? Very, very pretty. Very pretty. And then we do have the AOA Studio Highlighter. This one is in Morning Star. I was excited to see this because I really like the color. Let me show you. This is the color here. So it has like a shimmer to it. It's kind of like a peachish color with a little bit of gold in there. I really like it. So yeah, the reflection of a star in there. All right, so I'm just going to take my highlighting brush. Actually, I'm going to dip into it and then spray my brush and see what it does. Oh my goodness, you see that? OMG, no wonder. This is like the perfect highlighter. This Morning Star, this is no joke. This right here, yes. You do not need to spray your brush, I don't think. OMG. Okay, let's see if I can work through this. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so it's chunky. This highlighter is so chunky, y'all. Look at my face. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hope this is not a fail. Do you see that? <laughs> Do you see this color? They wasn't playing when they said morning star, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Look at this. Mm -mm. Girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my next side. I'm not gonna spray my brush. I'm just going to, I'm debating if I need to take another brush and do the next side or not, but this pigment is crazy. Wow. All right, actually, no, I'm not gonna switch brushes. I'm just gonna keep going, so. If it's a fail, it's a fail. But hey, at least you guys get to see it up close. You know what I mean? So here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the next side like normal. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe how pigmented that is. This is without spraying. Well, my brush is already sprayed, but I had already, you know, applied it on the next side. So you can tone it down, of course. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Look at that. Now I'm gonna take my foundation brush and kind of tone that down because that's just beaming for real. But it's pretty, I like it. So let me take my foundation brush here and let me tone this down some. So if you ever get like that, like if you're doing your makeup and you apply a big amount like that, just take your foundation brush and just go over it and it'll, you know, tone it down some. So what I'm doing now because I am not having that but it's beautiful I love the color that is like the perfect yeah they came up with that name perfectly that fits it perfectly all right so there's that I mean it's still going to be beaming on this side because that was a lot that came on there but it's it's definitely toned down so and then I'm still gonna do the same thing that I do always. I'm gonna take my highlighting brush and I'm just gonna go above near my brow bone. I love doing that. All right, so there's that. So I do have my pressed powder. This one is the AOA Studio Pressed Powder. This is in the shade T1. So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna set my under eyes as well because I really don't like how they look. But we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm just gonna take my powder brush here. I'm just gonna dip into it, tap off the excess, and just go over my face. I love this shade. This shade is like spot on my skin tone. I love it. I'm gonna use it. I'm going to use this. I love this shade. This is perfection right here. So on my twinsies out here, if you want you an affordable pressed powder, here it is, girlfriend. T1. You cannot beat this. This is beautiful. Spot on. I must say, I feel like I'm getting better and better with matching my shades for my foundations and my pressed powders. So I must say that. So there's that. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques blending brush. Don't judge me. I'm gonna go in with this and I'm gonna set my under eyes. And then now I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the pencil eyeliner in black. I'm just gonna line my waterline. I always get nervous on the pencil eyeliners if they're new, like if they're not LA girl. I always get nervous, like if they're gonna, you know, hurt your... Okay, so it's making my eye water a little bit. So it's not much pigment on there, but I mean, it's enough, you know, for the video. So I'm just gonna mix the orange and the brown and just line my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna take this white color here and just pop it in my inner corner. All right, so there's that. And I think I'm just gonna put this above my brow bone as well. It is so pretty, it's so icy. 
I really like that. That is so pretty. So I'm just gonna use that mascara and I'm gonna put my mascara on my lower lash line. Okay, so I can say that it is lengthening. I, I can tell a difference, so it is lengthening. It's just kind of runny, it's kind of watery, but it is lengthening. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the lips. Okay, so I do have a couple different shades here. These were $1.55. I have like three different shades here. Okay, so I have Pony, which is a brown. So I have Pony, I have Lasso, that's a brown, a darker brown. And then I have Rodeo. So they're all three brown colors. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with Pony. I'm gonna go in with Pony and line my lips and do my lipstick. Okay, so if you're trying to get the lip liner undone, if you're like, if you purchase this and you're trying to get the lip liner out, you're gonna have to twist it to get it off. I'm sitting here struggling with it, trying to just pull it apart, but you actually have to twist it to get it off. All right, so this is again in Pony. I'm just going to line my lips with it. It's a gel lip liner. Okay, so going over it a couple times, that's when the pigment comes in, but I really like the color. And then I did end up getting two lipsticks that are like mauve color. So this one's lighter. I'll probably go in with this one because it's lighter. This one is in the shade Swoon, and then I have the shade Cuddles. So just due to the lip liner, I think I'm gonna go in with Swoon. So I'm gonna use this and put my lipstick on it. Okay, so this is the color here. I think that's very pretty. It's like a lighter nude. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my lipstick on. Perfection. And it's creamy. So this lipstick is creamy and I really like it. I like how it turned out. This is really pretty. I really like it, guys. I was gonna take some clear lip gloss over it, but I don't even think that I need it. I mean, I could, but it's really, really creamy, so. Um, but yeah, this is very, very pretty. And it's nice and soft, so. You know what, just for the video, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the clear lip gloss that I purchased. This is AOA Studio, this is in Glazed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on for us. I'm just gonna dab it on. I don't wanna ruin my lip gloss with the lipstick. Okay, so lips are done. This is a really pretty look. I was worried, I was so worried about this look. But yeah, I really like it. So now we just gotta set the face and lock everything into place and we will be done with this long video. It smells good. I'm gonna say that setting spray does smell good. I'm just gonna take my fan and dry it down a little bit though. Okay guys, this completes the video. This is a beautiful look. I really love the products. I love how it all turned out. It is beautiful. So I'm gonna give you a real quick speed um, rundown of the products and then we will be done with this video. All right, so as far as the eyeshadow primer, this is beautiful. It's kind of liquidy, but it's kind of watery, but at the same time, it dries down really quickly. So I do recommend that. Um, and then as far as eyeshadow palettes, I really do like the palette, although you do have to kind of dig in there a little bit more um, just to get the payoff that you want, but it is a beautiful color story on both palettes, so I do re recommend it. And then as far as lashes, I really like the lashes. I didn't think they were gonna turn out like this, but I really do like the lashes and it's six pair and you can't beat this. This is a natural look, but I think that it's more of a bold look with the lashes. And then as far as the mascara, it's nice. It is lengthening as it says, it's just, it's kind of watery and it kind of separates your lashes at the same time. So I like my lashes all like combed, you know what I mean? Like a thinner approach rather than a thicker separated version, but it's a pretty good mascara for it being a dollar. As far as the primer, I must say this stuff is sticky. It's more like a moisturizer, but it's okay. Again, as long as you set your face down properly, then it'll work for you. The concealers, I was worried about the concealers. I mean, they're both, I mean, I got like a lighter shade and a darker shade 
it was still light under my eyes, but at the same time, I mean, it worked. Uh, I, we ended up making it work. So I'll say that, but yeah, um, I may just have to purchase a deeper shade, but yeah, I like the concealers. Very good formula. The brushes, I like the brushes here as well. These brushes are so cute and they are really, you know, they have some really good quality to them. So I do recommend you buying the brushes. As far as the bronzer goes, this is some very pigmented bronzer. I really like it though. This was some, this had me nervous. This really did have me nervous, but I really like it. I like the overall finish. It's very pigmented. It blends in well and it leaves a flawless finish. So I really do like that. The cream blush, that is very pigmented. One dot is all you need. Oh, one dot is all you need. I like this blush as well. This will be something that I'm using also. The highlighter. We already know about the highlighter. Boy, that highlighter is popping. They wasn't playing when they said it was Morning Star. Definitely Morning Star highlighter. I like it. I recommend it. You should go buy it. It's really cute. The blush palette. I like the blush palette. I like the little quad they have. I love the colors. It's a beautiful color story and it works flawless on my skin. Definitely recommend. The pressed powder. I like this as well. It's it's my match. This is a very nice pressed powder. It's very pigmented. It blends in perfectly to your skin as well. The setting powder. Had me nervous, had me looking like an orange, but in the end, everything worked out. So I do recommend this. It, it sets really nice and it goes on matte. So I really like it. I really, really like it. The lip liner and the lipstick. I must say these, these are very nice. I really like those. Um, I didn't think that this would have so much pigment to it, but it's beautiful and I really, really like it. So I do recommend both of these, very nice. Lip gloss, this is cute. The reason why I got it, cause it had sparkles in it. You know, I love sparkles, but yes, I do recommend the lip gloss as well. Eyeliner, I wasn't a big fan of the pencil eyeliner just because it just seems like it was kind of like off black, but overall, you know, it, it turned out okay. So, um, but I like the liquid liner more than the pencil liner. And I like this, I mean, it dried down pretty good. I don't know if it's matte or not. It looks like it could be matte, but I really like the details. I really like the packaging and I like all the glitter on it as well. Foundation, foundation. I mean, it looked like it was gonna be a little bit darker on my skin tone, but it turned out to be, you know, it turned out to be perfect. So I really like it. It's really creamy. I would say it's medium to buildable coverage. So yeah, I do recommend it. You should try it. Bronzer, I did like the bronzer as well. I could have went up a shade, but I mean, it still did its thing. Um, I really do like it. Next time I'll get a shade up, but you know, it still, it still had me with a flawless finish. So yeah, this is really nice as well. That is it, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and I will have more content loading. As always, stay blessed.